Good morning, Martin Weidemann here from True North Ministry, South Africa. This is my second video about immortality, the English version. Um, I've already spoken on three Afrikaans immortality. Go and see um, video one, two, three. Um, I want to read to you in the Bible, um, and I'm using uh, the King James Version. Romans 8 verse 2 says, For the law of the spirit of life, the law of the spirit of life, so the spirit of life, in Christ Jesus, in no one else, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. Now the, the, the church is teaching that Jesus Christ will set you free from all sin. Jesus Christ can set you free from all sin. This says that the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ has made me free from the law of death as well. Romans 6 verse 23, very, very important. For the wages of sin is death. We know that death came to the world and to this earth and to the natural dimension because of sin. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we know that we receive eternal life when we accept Him as Lord and Savior. We do not receive eternal life when we die. You receive eternal life according to all the gospel. When, and mostly all the preachers, when you accept Jesus Christ, then you have eternal life because He is the door. Now, Let's go to Genesis 3, verse 23. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us after they have sinned now, to know good and evil. And now, lest he, the man, put forth his hand and take also the tree of life, because there was a lot of trees, but two trees, very important tree. The first one is the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they must not eat of that. And there was another tree, the tree of life, which they could have eat any time they wished. Now, behold, let the man put forth his hand and take also now the tree of life and eat and live forever after they sin. Therefore the Lord God sent forth him forth from the garden of Eden and told the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out man, verse 24, and he placed it at the east of the garden of Edom, a cherubim, an angel, and a flaming sword, which turned every way, to keep the way of the tree of life. Because God says, now man has sinned, the wages of sin is death, I'm afraid if they're going to still eating of the tree of life, they are going to live forever. So he, he took an angel, a cherubim, and placed it around the tree so that man could not eat of the tree of life anymore. But when Jesus Christ came, he is the tree of life. He is the one that gives life and everlasting life. He's the one that gives eternal life. He's the one that gives immortal life. He is the bread of heaven. Now, 2 Timothy 1 verse 10. But it is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Manifest, but means it has come to forth. It has appeared, but it has now made manifest. By the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who have abolished death, when? When he hung on the cross, and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So Jesus Christ 
hangs on the cross. He took away sin. He took away the wages of sin, which is death, and the power of sin, and the consciousness of sin. The three things in Hebrew, you can read it. Sin has a power. God took care of it. It has a reward, a wage. It is death. He took care of that. And it has a consciousness. It took away that. So now, but it is now made manifest. 2,000 years ago it is written. By the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, Timothy wrote this, that time, that Jesus Christ has appeared, who have abolished death, yes, and have brought life and immortality, to light, to the front, to our knowledge, through the gospel. So immortality, eternal life, everlasting life, light up in our gospel. And you have eternal life when you believe and have faith. 1 John 5 says, who is that to overcome the world? The one that believes? And the one that have faith in Christ Jesus. I have faith in Christ Jesus and I believe in him. And that overcometh the world. That overcometh. That overcometh death. The law of spirit has made me free of the law of sin and death. It is brought forth through the gospel. And I believe the gospel has everything in it. Jesus Christ has anything in it. So what is our problem? Our problem is our belief and our knowledge and our faith. Jesus said, when someone died, lay your hands on them and raise the dead. The last enemy, according to Paul, 1 Corinthians 15, the last enemy, you see, death is an enemy. It is not a door to God. Jesus Christ is the door to God. You inherit something when someone died. You inherit from God when he died 2,000 years ago. You do not inherit anything when you die. You do not receive immortality or eternal life or everlasting life when you die. You receive it when you believe he died. Now, Hebrew 9, verse 25, 6, and 27, 28 said, Men must die, and after that, the judgment. I already spoken on that and said, Man, it, it's talking about Jesus Christ, must die once. And after that came judgment to all men that does not believe in his finished work. It is not that we must die, and after we die, we can inherit everlasting life, immortal life, eternal life. No, we get it through our gospel, because Jesus Christ appeared 2,000 years ago for us. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.